Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jamila and you're on Jemides TV. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make the Nigerian delicacy, Akara. If you don't know what Akara is, they are kind of like savory beignets that are very popular in Nigeria. So today I'm going to show you how to make it in a very easy peasy way. For this you'll be needing beans, onions, pepper, salt to taste and oil. I prefer to use brown beans, but you can also use the white one. It's just a personal preference of mine. Brown beans, the ones they call honey beans or oloin. Then you soak your beans in water for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you put it in your blender. You pour it halfway in the blender and then add water halfway so that it's easy for you to pulse. You pulse about three to five times. This helps to separate the chaff from the beans and it's very easy to wash. Not like when we used to do this. In my childhood by hand it took forever to wash it so after pulsing it you pour it in a bowl fill it up with water and then you try to hand wash a bit before decanting the water slowly you decant three four five times you keep decanting and separating the chaff until the beans is clean To think this was a dreaded chore growing up because it was <laughs> such a hard thing to wash beans. But look at us now as grown-ups using blender and making our lives easier. You don't have to suffer just because you want to eat akara or moi moi. So if you're not doing this in your sink, be sure to dispose the water far away because beans water smells awful after a couple of days. So make sure to dispose the water and wash everything. So when you're done washing... You can soak it again if it's still too hard. You can soak it for another five minutes, but please don't over soak. If you over soak it, it loses power the way my mom says it. So it won't be, I don't know how to describe it. It won't be as potent as it should be. It will become weak and if you're not careful, it could sour too. So when you've soaked it and you know it's ready, you have to squeeze it between your fingers like this. If it breaks into two easily, that means it's soft enough. But if it's still hard, then you need to soak it for a little bit more. So as you can see, the beans is clean and then you decant all the water. You move on to the next step, which is blending. The mistake a lot of people make is adding too much water when blending. Just add a little, enough to blend it so that you don't end up with splatters in your oil when you're frying. During the course of blending, if you feel you need to add more water, add little by little. We prefer to have less water than too much. You can always remedy it if you have little water, but if it's too much, the paste will be too runny and then you run into problems when it's time to fry. So as you can see, the paste is quite smooth and then you move on to the next stage. The next step is to chop your onions and add some pepper, and some salt. Then the secret to fluffy akara is using a hand mixer. This is another trick that our childhood would be jealous of. <laughs> As you can see, I don't have that big mortar where you can roll it to make it fluffy. So these days you can use your hand mixer and achieve the same or close to the same results. So you mash up your onions and pepper a little bit till it looks like this. And then you add your akara paste to it. Make sure you only start blitzing when the mixer is inside the bowl if you don't want your entire kitchen to be filled with splatter. <laughs> so you keep doing this until you get a fluffy consistency then you're ready to fry. To check if your oil is hot enough dip a stick into it and then you'll see some bubbles at the end then you know that it's hot enough for you to fry so you scoop with a spoon and put them in gently try not to overcrowd the pan and of course this needs to be deep fried add enough oil so that it floats to the top after some time when it's done under flip gently and keep an eye on it Make sure the oil is not too hot or too 
low. If it's too low, the akara will be soggy in the end. But make sure the heat is just right so that you end up with fluffy, nice akara balls. When your akara is done, take it out and enjoy, basically. I'll show you how it looks when you cut it open. Just look at that golden brown yummy goodness. Oh my god. I'm so proud of myself. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.